In this video, we are going to following these documentations to deploy our Strapi app to Heroku. So first, we are going to create a app that using Strapi. So we go to the terminal and we rename this as my CMS. Now we already created a Strapi app, so we can create the admin. So for example, we type CK mobile and then CK mobile at CK mobile dot com. And then we type some password. For example, we type test 123123. 1, 2, 3, and then we type again test 123123. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then we click next start. And because we just want to focus on deploy to the Roku, so we do not want to set spend so much time on create the collections. So we create a new collections and then we type a book and then we continue and then we click on the test and we click the title for the book title and also the offer and then we click finish and click save. And we wait a few seconds and you will see there is a box collections on the left hand side. And now we can add a new book, but we stop here and continue to the deployment. So the next part is we go to the inside the folders. So we stop the server and then we type cd my cms and then we paste the command So the next part is we open the VS code. So we type code dot. And if we following this documentation, we have to go to the config and go to the environment and create the folders productions. So we go to the config and create a new folder called env. And then inside the folder, we create another folder called production. So env productions and then we create database.js and then we copy this code to our project. So we copy this and paste to this file and click save. Now the first thing we want to do is go to Heroku create. So we open the terminal and then we type or you should Go to Heroku login if you haven't logged in yet. But since we already logged in, so we go to Heroku create. Now it already creates a new project called Quiet Self. And then we copy this. We have to initialize a git. And then we go to add the remote repository. And since we already create once, so we copy this name. This is the Heroku app. So we paste to here. And then what we have to do is to git add and also git commit. So we type git add. And then we type git commit. And then we go down to here. We have to add the add on. So we copy this one. But the name of the Heroku app, we have to use our own app name. So you have to go to up to here and copy this again and paste to the command. And last we have to use git push Heroku masters to push to the Heroku. So we paste to here. Now it already successfully deployed to the Heroku and now we can go to the app by clicking on this link. And we can go to the admin by put a forward slash and type admin. And now and now it's just like localhost we have to add a admin account. So we just type a similar thing. And then we type the password and click last start. And now we go to the books and we try to add a new books. 
and click save and publish and we can also add one more and also click publish now we can go to fetch these books by using this link and you can see it is forbidden because we haven't set the rows so we go to the settings and then we go to the rows and go to the publics and then we find this so we can go to take the find and find one and then click save and then we go to again go to the books now you can see the JSONs inside our app we can fetch this data and list it in a list so you can see inside the local host and also when you compare with the admin page which is inside the Heroku there is one difference is we cannot add a collections inside the remote server you have to add it here so for example if you have a new collection called offers we do not add a need to add a s here it will add automatically and then we just need the name and click finish and click save and because we haven't start the server start the local host servers so we have to back to here and click young develop now we have to refresh so we have to add the collections and we type the offer again and then we click the name and click finish and click save now you have one more collections here and if you want to update to the remote server we have to stop local host and then we type git add again and then git commit and for example we type add offers and then we type git push kuraku master now it already said it deployed it to the Heroku app so we can back to the remote servers and then we try to refresh the page now you can see there is a new collection called offers so this is how to deploy the Sharpie to the Heroku